この光は俺たちだけが生み出しているものじゃない Welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Nike SB Dunk High. These are the Gundam Banshees, and this is the RX Zero Unicorn Zero Two. Let's take a look at this model. Welcome back to another unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, I'll leave those down below. Hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. As mentioned earlier, we're going to be talking about the Nike SB Dunk Highs. These are the Gundams. As you may know, this did come in two colorways. I have the Banshee RX Zero Unicorn uh, Gundam. Gundam 02s. So this is a really, really cool, fun colorway and design. So I can't wait to get into this overview, talk about size and fit on these, followed by how I style these, and then we'll conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. As you know, dunks typically do pretty well just because their retail price point is pretty low. So let's get right into it. Starting with the front of the toe box, one of the things that I love about this color combination is I love metallic and coppery tones and they have copper as well as these gold tones on the front of that toe box and then that nice humbled leather on the front and that nice dark rich navy color scheme which kind of gives off actually a purple hue as well depending on the light and how it hits. Working our way up, we've got black laces. They're laced on it currently with a just nice black tongue. We've got some nice red hues there for the Nike SB logo. If you're not feeling these black laces though, I love that they've given you three different color options. I can see, you know, this looking really fire with the gold. They do give you a green as well as blue. I'm not really a fan of the green as much. Um, I could see maybe the blue being okay, but probably not my favorite. I would think the black for the gold combination is probably what I would go with on these sneakers. All right, so let's take a look at those details and then we'll move on to the side panels. Gundams, this is basically the prototype of what a mobile suit would look like, and this would be the evil version. So again, I had mentioned earlier, this came in two color ways. The white color is more of the good character, I guess, in comparison to the evil Gundam character. And again, this is just a prototype of what a suit would look like. 
and I have yet to get a Gundam. I went for the Supreme one. As you guys know, I took an L on that, so I'm super sad about that. Uh, but moving on to the side panels, you'll see that we've got the gold swoosh mark here on top of the underlays of that black leather, more of the navy leather and the copper tones that work its way to the back. We've got kind of a grayish uh, pull tab there. We've got a metallic silver for the collar. The insole has the Nike SB logo with Zoom Air in black and orange. As we work our way to the side, it does say RX Zero Dunk High Warning with that nice logo on the side there. And then we have this really cool swoosh mark and it actually comes off so this is velcro so this is interchangeable so this is one of the really cool parts about this sneaker is if you're not feeling the gold you can actually add this really cool copper rose gold tone to it which i actually love this color option a little bit more i'm a bit more of a fan and this also reminds me of a floor mat that you would have inside a car for some reason uh, but i do love that these are interchangeable probably one of my favorite parts about the sneaker itself and then the shoe is completed with this simplistic black midsole and outsole and then you do see that rose gold threading throughout and last but not least, this actually does come with a sticker pack. So this actually comes usually with the kit if you do get one of the Gundam toys. I have yet to cop one of those, but this is something that usually is included. So I love that they did include this kind of detail with the sneaker. All right, let's look at those final details and then move on to sizing. So as far as sizing goes, I would say stick true to size. I'm a seven and a half. Sometimes dunks do run a bit small, but on this one, I felt like this fit me to a T perfectly. I do have higher general feet. So depending on whether you have flat wider feet, that could differentiate the size that works best for you. But on this one, I would say stick true to size. All right, now moving into styling. So again, so much fun styling this colorway. This is a nice, darker, richer color scheme. I don't have a lot of sneakers, honestly, that have this kind of copper rose gold color scheme as well as that gold um, but I did have a lot of fun with this one so for the first look I kept it pretty simple all black look I decided to wear some satin cargo pants and I topped it off with a nice velvet blazer I think that this is really a fun shoe that you can dress up because of the metallic golds and rose golds that you see on here Coming up short, I didn't have a choice but to let it go. Never let me explain myself. Explain myself. Now I'm for the second look, I decided to dress it up a little bit more with a houndstooth uh, blazer dress. And I wanted to play off of the red hues that I saw throughout the sneaker. And so I wore this houndstooth blazer dress in black and red. Leaving behind all the things I had in my mind. I'm changing my ways. I'm floating away. the last and final look i decided to wear a red sweater with some gray pleated pants and i just kept it nice and simple Well, I know we are about to clash, but 
Don't you worry, cause we still got a chance Baby, don't lose your faith Don't lose your faith And everything that I said, everything that I said Spinning round in my head, spinning round in my head Spinning round in my head Now I'm leaving behind all the things I had in my mind I'm changing my ways, I'm floating away I'm floating away. Definitely had some fun with styling these, so you let me know down below what was your favorite out of the three or how would you decide to style these? are currently doing on the resale market so these again are went for $110 retail which great price point for a dunk high especially an SB we do have the SB box as we're used to seeing so no special Gundam box just the typical SB Nike box that we're used to seeing uh, but these are going between $200 and $400 a larger sizes are doing a bit better on these all right, that's it for this unboxing and review. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you are new and haven't hit that subscribe yet, please be sure to do that and give this video a thumbs up. Also, hit that notification bell because we have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. And be sure to check out that join button for our membership perks as well as our merch store. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We'll catch you all in the next episode.